NBC2 News Today. Women, listen up. Drinking specifically cola could cause some health concerns. Dr. Cedarquist joins us in the studio with the reason she practices preventative medicine and weight management in Naples. So what did a recent study show in particular with cola? A recent study was following uh, women and men in the Framingham study to follow osteoporosis and osteopenia. And what they found is that women who drank more cola had lower bone density. Women who on average had one cola per day had a 4 to 5 percent lowered bone density than women who reported drinking cola once a month or less. So why bone density in particular? Well, bone density is what they follow when they're looking at osteoporosis risk. And some of the things that have been known to be important in uh, maintaining bone density is adequate calcium intake, um, adequate vitamin D, and physical activity. What was interesting in this particular study is the study went ahead and controlled for all of that. And they found that the differences in these women did not have to do with those known factors in terms of the vitamin D, the calcium, and the exercise. What they found is that the cola seemed to be having an effect there in terms of lowering the bone density. Is it a matter of if you're drinking cola, you're not drinking your milk, so to speak? Uh, that was considered to be one of the possibilities and people have thought about that for a long time but this particular study did not show that because it showed there was no difference with regards to calcium intake now one of the big limitations about all studies about food and when they ask people to track things is maybe that is truly a bigger part of it and even though they tried to control for it indeed um, they're displacing some of the benefits of drinking milk in the diet with soda but really investigators were left with the fact is they really weren't sure they did not find the same effect of the lowered bone density in women who drank sodas other than colas. They did not find that diet cola versus regular cola made a difference with regards to this lowering of bone density. And, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but have other studies shown these same effects? Other studies have not shown the effects on osteoporosis, but other studies have shown effects with regards to cola in particular on some other adverse health effects, in particular high blood pressure. Some studies have shown that women who have a higher intake of cola, again diet or regular, were more likely to have elevated blood pressure. And the thought was maybe it's caffeine, but that particular study did not show a difference in caffeine intake of women, and they have not shown a similar effect effect with higher blood pressure levels in women who have higher intakes of coffee. So it appears that this health effect may have something to do uniquely with cola. But honestly, the jury is still completely out on what exactly it all means. I would think for women, the take home message would be if you are drinking colas regularly, one a day certainly does not seem excessive. But if you are prone to osteoporosis or there's a family history of osteoporosis, maybe you should change that to certainly water or something like iced tea or iced coffee, which may not have as much of a negative effect on the bone density. And I just want to go over this one more time. Why women and not men? The investigators are not sure about that, but it may be because women have lowered bone density compared to men to begin with, so maybe the effect is subtle and we don't see it until men are eating, uh, I'm sorry, drinking large, large volumes of cola. We're not exactly sure. So there definitely is some more questions and more research that needs to be done. All right, thanks so much for joining us. And if you need to contact Dr. Cedarquist, all you need to do is 866-401-3438 or go to www.bistromd.com.